All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and today I'm back with another video here. And uh, the Flyers bought out Tony D'Angelo today. Um, not for the purpose of terminating his contract, but just to buy him out. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, I just finished recording a video about this, and I didn't realize that the Flyers got the other buyout window um, because of avoiding arbitration. With Noah Cates, uh, and the tweet from Bill Meltzer kind of helped helped me with that, and I was kind of looking at some things, and my opinion has actually kind of changed uh, on this because at first I was like, all right, well you're buying out a guy, you know, you're you're saving yourself some money, but you know, I, I would have liked to have seen Tony kind of fix that, right? So I I think for me, um, I, I'm I'm in I'm in like two kind of boats here. On the side of D'Angelo, I would have liked to have seen it work out because obviously he liked to play here. Obviously he liked to be a flyer, right? I think it, it would have been nice to kind of have a guy that, you know, wanted to be here and, and wanted to, you know, be a flyer for the rest of his, his his career, right, and all that stuff. I mean, he said that when he first came here, and um, it would have been nice if that could have worked out. But on the other side of things, you have – not too much cap space. If you were trading him for Massimo Rizzo, yeah, it would have been nice to get a prospect back, but you would have been, uh, you know, giving yourself less cap space by doing that. You would have gotten a player, but you would have had to retain two, two and a half million because D'Angelo making five for the one season. This buyout for the Flyers uh, is one point six million for these next two seasons it's one million six hundred sixty six thousand six hundred and sixty seven dollars um for these next two years and d'angelo was supposed to become a free agent if he clears he probably will and because of that the flyers saved themselves a little bit of money now they signed away Lixel yesterday only one rfa left in morgan frost flyers have around 80.5 million is the cap hit right now they have like 2.9 in cap space um i'm assuming you know some of that stuff's gonna get a little cleared out and that's just that's per cap probably so some of those things can change um yes you do have a lot of dead cap these next couple years three years of Hayes on the retained salary the two years of d'angelo and this this season is the last year of, of oscar Limblom's buyout but you're saving yourself a little bit of money now. Um, you're able to kind of re-sign Morgan Frost at probably a higher value. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a longer deal, a shorter deal. We will see, right? But this helps out the Flyers. He's the last contract left that they have to sign for this season. Um, if you're looking at the defense, it definitely makes them worse, right? And a lot of moves have made them worse. Um, you know, you've you've moved out Provorov. You've moved out D'Angelo. Um, it, it, it has not been the, the best for this defense. Um, you know, and then that's excluding Hayes, but you know, for the defense alone, your, your, your contracts for defense next year are Sanheim, Ristolainen, Walker, York, Stahl, Sealer, and Zamula. And only Sanheim, Ristolainen, and York are the ones who are signed for next season. Uh, Walker, Stahl, and Sealer are unrestricted free agents. And Igor Zamula is an RFA. So long term, it kind of hurts because you have so many guys you have to sign next year. Uh, from RFAs, from Tippett, to and Paling, and Allison, Legzinski, Frost. If he's on a one-year deal or two-year deal, you won't have to sign him. depends on what his contract is. Uh, you know, all the defense I just went through. You have Hart, you have Sandstrom. And that's excluding all the other prospects, you know, down below in the uh, not in the uh, on the uh, Flyers main roster at the moment. So, you know, right now it it, it, it helps because, you know, you save yourself a little bit of money. Um, you know, you're able to sign Morgan Frost instead of getting a prospect that you don't really know if he would work out. And, you know, the Flyers were able to kind of do this because they got that buyout from, you know, avoiding Arb uh, with uh, Noah Cates. So, you know. You're able to do that, and, and it's and it's smart because you're able to get some more money out of it. The only other thing that kind of sucks about this, and and this is probably just you know me, and again, this is just me thinking here. Like, I would have liked to have seen Tony work out. I know a lot of fans were kind of up in the air about him and and stuff, but I I just think for me, a guy who wanted to play here and wanted to be a flyer, and um, you know, I 
I wasn't, I'm not the, I feel like every year with this team, we always kind of buy out our problems or trade away our problems. And I know we're, we're doing that here still, but it is smart on the other side of things. And you break down the money and everything else too. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm 50, 50 on it. Cause I did like Tony. Um, but I also am fine with saving money. If you can resign a guy like Morgan Frost, I'm perfectly fine with that as well. So realistically I'm happy, but at the same time, I'm a little bummed because I would have liked to have seen D'Angelo kind of work out here and maybe something would have been different but hey it is what it is let me know your guys thoughts below uh make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the like button down below thanks everybody again uh for all the support as always um again it's been a lot of fun this summer doing content here on youtube and the channel's been growing and the show has been great and thanks everybody again for all the support i really do appreciate it uh yeah that's uh, that's all i got for today thank you guys and i will talk to you all again soon